hey guys in this section we're gonna begin our lesson with methods now methods are kind of like something that performs something for you it does something and you don't need to write that code over and over again you just have to write it once and then call it each and every time you need it hope you understand that and i'm gonna give you an example first look at this method here this is what we call a method this this is an example of a method now what does that method do it runs your code the main method runs your code this main method you can't change this you can't name it anything else this is this would be the name of your method you can't name it uh make for example you have to name it main so this will run all your code so wherever you 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 you've defined any classes or methods or done other code somewhere else you need to come run it here you need this is where you call your methods and everything so that's why we've been coding inside this all along so we can actually create our own custom method down here or we can create up we can create it up here if we want but i just like to do things down here this is our boss we want it to stay at the top all the time but it doesn't matter anyway and i'm gonna say public static void this is our method declaration and we can name it anything we want so let's say we want a method that will greet so which means it will output hello or anything and then in here we can actually write a code that's that will just output hello and then inside here we can call this method here we can call it each and every time we need it i'm going to say greet now let's run it and we get hello so what what am i doing here i am declaring an array i mean sorry i'm declaring a method here and inside this method we have this system print line hello so this is what we want the method to do each and every time we call it inside this main method we call it and when we call it we want it to execute something depends on what whatever we did here so what am i going to do now i'm going to call this a couple of times so you can see that this happens each and every time we call it so i've called it three times and when I run it, I get hello three times because I've called it three times. So we can do a lot of things inside here. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about this public static void here. This public means that it is this method is accessible outside of this class. So we can actually use this method anywhere else outside of this class and we haven't worked on other or on classes yet and when we work on classes on uh, when we work on classes you're going to get more understanding of why if we even use this public but just know that we can use it outside of this class and then we get the static now static means that we can directly call it without using without instantiating an object now we haven't got it, we haven't gotten into objects yet so you don't really understand objects so this is kind of useless to you you're going to understand when we get to objects and this void means it returns nothing it just does something for you it doesn't return a value back to you that you can use so we're going to talk a little more about that on the next lecture and then this would be the name of your method now I want to show you what happens when I remove the static here. When I try to call greet, it's not gonna work. It's telling me that uh, non-static method greet cannot be referenced from a static context. So we cannot do that. What we have to do to you to be able to use that, we have to create this what we call an object, which is the name of this particular class that we're working in, and name it anything we can i'm just going to call it name and you don't worry if you don't understand this because we're not there yet i'm just moving ahead of time 
is to show you what's going to happen, what we need to do when we don't include static in our method declaration. So that's, we have to go through all this trouble just to be able to call this method if we don't add this guy here. If we don't add the, I mean the static, sorry, if we don't add the static. So we're going to get to that later on. I'm just going to do greet again. And then I will add static here. And just like that, we can run our code back to normal. And this void, this void, I want to talk about this void. Now, this, this means that this doesn't return anything. It just does something. For example, uh, let me just make an example with... Um, Okay, this 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 was an this was our example like George, for example. You can say output name and then we can call output name and then it's going to output the name. I'm just doing something arbitrary here. And we get George. We don't get it doesn't return a value that we can use or we can manipulate we can multiply or add or whatever it just does something that's all it does it does what you want it to do so you can actually output we can actually return a value instead of just doing something so we can return an integer for example let's say we want to add two numbers for example add two gonna remove this guy here now we have to return something we can't just do something and then out and then call this method just like that we have to return a value so yeah I'm going to add what we call parameters now parameters would be something like this I'm gonna call it num1 so these are the variables we can add here. I'm just going to show you an example. Hope it's not too confusing. And here, this, this, these are the parameters. And then we can just say num1 plus num2. Or we can say int sum is equal to num1 plus num2. And then we need to return sum like that and then in here I can say add two and then we can input two numbers here like that two and five so it's going to add these two numbers this is what these are what we call parameters with parameters we have to insert what we call arguments these are what we call arguments the arguments are the actual values and the parameters are kind of like you know the whole or like the sorry not not a whole it's like an insert point or slot let me just say a slot maybe 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 that's a bad example or maybe that's a good example it doesn't matter but anyway these are what you call parameters and this is your argument the actual values inside here and what we do here we are declaring another variable called sum and we're setting it equal to this value plus this value so sum is going to be equal to the addition of these two numbers and then it's going to return using this keyword here return sum now let me show you what's going to happen here we get nothing why are we getting nothing because we are just returning a value but we're not outputting anything there's no print line statement here we did this method is not supposed to print anything it just returns a value so this add to returns a value that we can just wrap around a print statement now if i run this we will get our output of seven we can add 12 and 2 or any, no, any number you can think of guys 
can minus, you can multiply, you can do anything. Now we get 14 because 12 plus 2 is 14. And instead of doing this, we can also, we know that it returns an, an integer value, right? So we can just say uh, result int result is equal to this guy. So we can set it equal to this method here. And then output this result like that. And then we get the same output. So we can do a lot of things here, guys. Remember, these are parameters. These are what we call parameters. And these are your arguments. So I hope that wasn't too difficult to understand. And again, you need this return statement if you're returning a certain value. And if you're not returning anything, you can say void. And this will not be valid. Yeah. I'm just going to remove all of this. And I want to output sum. Yeah. So you can also do this, guys. And then I can just say add two. And I can, and I have to, if I have parameters, I have to insert arguments here. I can't just let it slide. And then I'm going to run this. We're going to get 14 directly, like from the jump. We don't need to do all that print line statement. So we, when we return a value, then to output it, you have to specify it here on the main. Otherwise, when it's void, you can just uh, output it here if you want to inside here. So that's methods in the nutshell. And later on, if I missed anything, when it comes to methods then i'm going to talk about them on the next video but otherwise if i feel like i've covered everything then we can move on to the next lecture